Uh, uh, no, I'm just, I'm gonna. Hey, give us a run, go back! I don't think they noticed. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Blanco Bronco Adventures, and we just stole Armadillo Designs Bronco. They weren't looking. We're at the Airbnb coming off of United by Bronco, and I just have to know what this hardtop's like. So, I'm leaving those guys in the dust, taking their Bronco, and I am gonna show you guys if this hardtop's any good. I mean, it's impressive. The headroom in here, I feel like I, I could grow another like six inches and I'd be fine. All right, I'm gonna get up here. Two things that I've been curious about is, does it really solve the noise issue of the factory hardtop? And how modular is this thing? It's made out of aluminum. It looks good, but do I really like it? Do I want to spend my money on it? I don't know. I want to bring you guys along and just see what you think. Come on. All right, so what we got is we got our Bronco packed down. We're literally just getting ready to go home. And I was like, hey, I see my opportunity. They left the keys in it. All right, this top is impressive for the height. You sit in here and you gain so much more headroom. As you can tell, it is arched up. But more importantly, these panels are still removable. These clips, I don't, I don't know, how, how, do they, how do they work? What do, we, what do we do? How do you unclip it? That's nice. It's adjustable. So if you do get wind noise, you can fix that. There's a lot of clips on this compared to the factory top. You got two in the center for the front panel, one, two on the side, two in the front, two on this side. Then in the rear, same thing, two, 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 and two. I like that that is adjustable and it hooks in and you can adjust it down. You know, our hard top, I'm a little biased. I think our hard top's been fantastic. We get very little wind noise and I know why we get the wind noise. It's because our rooftop tent beats down on it and I'm okay with that. But I mean, if there's a solution and a better one, this is, this is where it's at. It is nicely powder coated. It's like a texture. Plus, you can option this top with whatever kind of, you know, design you want, I think. I think there's like three or four options or, or more. It's uh, riveted together and it's aluminum. Now, in the rear, it's even cooler. Watch this. Here I am. Look at this. The go wing opens up. It eliminates the rear window and you can rein in, you know, grab stuff out of your Bronco. They got anything good in here? Uh, no, just their personal stuff. Now, I was kind of skeptical about this when I first seen the design. Why? Why do, you, why do you need this? Well, if you get the molly panel that comes right in here, well, now you can attach accessories right here, reach in and grab them. They're mounted on the inside. And then guess what? You can just simply shut this. It's on gas struts. So, you know, it's not just gonna bang you on the head. Then, shut it down, and there's two locks that keep it secure in the Bronco. Now, that's cool. Let me show you something that I don't think I'm really that fond of, but we gotta go outside, come on. Look, here it is. You know, this slant, why? It's really aggressive, but it also follows the factory roll bar slant. So it actually looks pretty good. Now, they do have a square back option that comes out a little more square. So personally, if I was gonna get one of these tops, I would wanna check out the square back option first, but this top's aluminum. It's hefty, but how hefty? Let me show you. So as you can see, the armadillo hardtop is quite hefty. It's proven one of these has survived a complete rollover, but you know, this thing is stout. If it can hold me for a roof rack, rooftop tent, things like that, accessories, I think this can hold quite a bit. I mean, look, these are the removable panels. Here it is. Do that with your factory roof. It's basically glorified cardboard, you know? Good luck. How do I get down now? I'm gonna break myself. I mean, quite impressive. We know the top is strong. We know it's powder coated. It looks good, but the noise. Is this top actually worthwhile driving down the highway to be able to, you know, hear the noise so you can talk to somebody? That's what we're gonna find out. I'm gonna give you two side-by-side -side readings. We got a little decibel meter app. We're gonna drive this down the highway. 
about you know 75 and we're going to let you know how much noise actually is going on inside the bronco then we're going to compare it to the blanco bronco with our factory top you know you make the decision for yourself but i'm really impressed with the construction of this the guys at armadillo designs have been busting their butt to bring this product to market for you guys and i was just lucky enough to steal their bronco so we better get back before they come find us i still need to figure out how to get down here goes nothing Holly hoop ah let's go road test this all right guys i am only doing this a little bit of justice this top has so many features and things that I'm probably not noting. But the two biggest things I wanted to know was, is it really worth the money to have an aluminum stronger top? Sure, I could, I could figure that out pretty quick. I think most anybody could, but really the biggest complaint with the hard top and especially a soft top on a Bronco is, well, the noise. So is your money better spent on this? Or something else you know there's competitors there's competitors in everything but i'll tell you what i like to support the guys that support the bronco community and armadillo designs has been doing just that they started out this company and hit the ground running to bring this product to us and uh i'm so far really impressed with it i i mean you got all the headspace it is awesome so we're about ready to turn off out of the neighborhood we're going to go hit the highway and we're going to uh, see what our decibels are. There's just so much to look at in here. It's insane. Oh no. Uh oh. We're coming up on the Airbnb. Oh dang it. We got caught. Um. Uh no. I'm just. I'm gonna. Hey, give us a run. Go back. Oh, that was a close call. You see Fabian running out there? Man, if he was in an armadillo costume, he would have been playing possum because he would have got almost smoked. Anyway, we made it past him. We're getting ready to hit the highway here. We have got our decibel meter up. So let's get up to 75 mile an hour and let's see how many decibels is going on in here. We've actually got a pretty good scenario here. Down here in Sand Hollow, hurricane area, it's windy. Imagine that, it's like a hurricane. Anyway, the wind on hard tops is also gonna be banging on the thing and you know adding its own decibel reading. So uh, I'm excited to know if this is actually worth the money for the sound. So far, I can already tell from driving our Bronco as much as we have, this is a lot quieter. Even though we got a little bit of stuff rattling around in the back, it's not bad. You can literally hear yourself think. So this is impressive. All right, so I'm gonna do this from a rolling stop. We've got zero miles an hour. We got some motor noise. We got some shiftage in the back of the vehicle. We're shifting gears. You can see the decibels. We are officially up to 65 miles an hour. Now you see that side-by-side -side comparison of the decibels in here versus the decibels in the Blanco Bronco. Now, to be fair, our Bronco does have an exhaust. This is a stock Badlands other than a few upgrades and a massive upgrade on the top. So to be expected, the Blanco Bronco should be a little bit noisier, but I mean, this is impressively quiet. I think you guys really should consider this as an option to put on your Bronco, especially if you're gonna be driving it a long distance, you wanna be able to hold conversations. Not to mention you use the Bluetooth and you get phone calls incoming, you know, it, the wind noise is real. I mean, I've called my wife, she's been on the highway, wind noise, and I have to tell her, take it off the vehicle so I can hear you. And I just don't think that would be the case in here. Now, I'm a little biased, I like this. I stole this. Do we just keep the top? Should, if we take the top off and we set it down over here and we'll come back with the Blanco Bronco, maybe they won't notice that it is gone. They'll notice. So now we're gonna return the Armadillo Designs Bronco. I'm a little scared, to be honest. Fabian runs fast. I, I don't I don't run so fast. Hey, do me a favor, don't tell him that I was jumping on the roof of this Bronco. I mean, my big ass probably could have come through this roof, but it didn't. So the strength is absolutely there. Our rooftop tent on our Bronco, like 250 pounds. Whenever we're driving, I can hear the top literally creaking. And I think with this aluminum, you wouldn't have that issue. Plus with this sound editor on here, this is way better than the carpet 
that's glued onto the factory composite top. So links are always in the description below. You just got to go and check it out. For now, get off your couch. It's time to create an adventure and we will see you next time. Oh man, they're still outside. He's going to be pissed. A few moments later. The more I keep driving and I'm thinking about the Armadillo hardtop, 30 decibels of difference. And I said something and I caught myself. When we have the rooftop tent on, we have like noise kind of banging down on us. Well, that's to be expected because of the tent. Their Bronco had a light bar on it. And even hitting 65, I mean, I didn't, I didn't hear any extra wind noise. I mean, we have wind noise because it's windy out here. You have the noise in the tires, but man, I'm actually very impressed with it. Now, I do have some questions that I'm going to ask. I bet you we'll get answers to them. The seals on that hardtop, how long are those going to last? You know, I mean, that top's black. You know, they live in Texas. It's going to get hot. That liner is, I don't know what the foam type material is, but it's just stuck on there. Now, that stuff goes on boats. And so, I mean, it's in the water, it's in the sun all day, but baking on that top in the summer sun, is that gonna start to bubble and kind of wanna fall off? I don't know. I guess time will tell those things, but what I can tell you is they haven't just started this product and threw it out there half cocked. They're taking the time to design it, to test it, to then retract and change some things and then go back to designing and testing and then release them to the public. Honestly, I don't even think price point is set yet, but I'm gonna be very curious. Fabian, we're gonna be in touch on that. You get a price set, let me know. You know, I, I would initially think that I would do a white hardtop because you can paint it or powder coat it any color, but I, just, I don't think that looks that great. Only because you gotta have some contrast. The, the Bronco's already white. The Heritage roof is white. It, I don't think it would look as right as it should. So, but what color would I do? I, I don't know. Black is cool. Gold. No, not gold. You, the fact is, is, you can do any color you want. Body color, match it, powder coat it, whatever color you want. You can order it in different variations. We'll keep you guys updated with this product. Now I'm just stewing on how to spend more money on my Bronco. Bronco, Bronco, what's yours?